And it is a, like I said, it's all the uh, Sunday school uh, teaching is uh, high call of my week, really it is. I'm, uh, I look forward to it and uh, enjoy it. I guess that means, you know, sometimes you feel like you're better than others, but uh, <coughs> I enjoy the I teach it the Sunday school and, Talking to y'all about the Word of God, it's, uh, it's just a great honor to do that. And uh, uh, and I thank the people. I'm not like what the uh, brother Danny said. I always like Sunday school. I had uh, wonderful Sunday school teacher, brother uh, Bill Kinlaw, the first Sunday school teacher I had over here, then uh, brother Chief, and brother Marshall, and. I can't remember if there's anybody else, but uh, uh, that's been a long, for a long, <laughs> for a long time ago. Right? Uh, and Brother Bill was a cousin of three nations. He was like one of the people that I thought he called the priest, wasn't he? Not my And uh, uh, he had great stories and things about, uh, about his uh, ancestors and all. But uh, have, a, have a good lesson today. I've had a uh, kind of hard time studying them, so y'all like uh, have a comment help me out. The governor of Texas is in Isaiah 7 and 14. Therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son. And shall call his name Emmanuel. God with us. <laughs> And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord Christ. Yea, his sword shall pierce through thy own soul also, and the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. Very, very familiar scripture. 
that's for sure. I read the list and explain the cops sometimes. I was going to say, this every time I look back here, brother, tell me, I think, who is that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's lost so much weight and dressed up so fine, I can't keep up with it. <laughs> People might make an improvement as they do something. <laughs> Although we don't exactly know the day of when Jesus was born, the important thing is that he was born. You know, I've seen people that would fall out with you over the, uh, whether Easter or Sunday or whether, well, they've got denominations that the basis, the basis of their whole denomination is the Saturday Sunday. You know? I mean, I never could figure out what the deal was with that. If everybody in the whole world celebrated uh, or, or used the Sunday for the Sabbath, uh, why wouldn't that be good enough for everybody? You know, I mean, it's just, it's just a day, what I mean. But uh, it, a lot of times it gets in, uh, involved in, in little things like this that don't really matter and, uh, and lose sight of the big picture of the thing. Many Christians argue over whether or not to celebrate Christmas on the 25th of the 25th, as is the custom. If God meant for us to know the exact date, He would have made sure that it was included in the Scripture. We can only believe what the Bible tells us. In Luke and 1, we have the account of a miracle of John the Baptist's birth to Zacharias and Elizabeth in their old ladies. Elizabeth, in Elizabeth's sixth month, the angel Gabriel went to Mary and he told her the blessing she was about to experience that she would conceive as a virgin and give birth to the Son of God. Debate, there's debate in churches over that, whether that's a... Uh, uh, the fact or not, you know, but, uh, but it, it's not uh, uh, the Bible is wrong for sure. I've heard people also teach and preach that uh, John the Baptist didn't know Jesus until he saw him uh, uh, there coming to be baptized, but that's how they are likely. He was his cousin, and they were, uh, uh, she and Elizabeth were related and all these stuff. He probably did a lot of things, you just have to apply a little common sense to it, too. We we'll could see that as a virgin and give birth to the Son of God. Gabriel also told Mary about her cousin Elizabeth who was going to have a baby. Zacharias had to wait for nine months as a youth because he had not believed Gabriel. On the day of the birth, his tongue was loose and he was able to speak. He then began to prophesy for the Holy Ghost over the child that John would be the prophet of the highest to go before the face of the Lord and prepare his what? Caesar Augustus, this was a title, his name was Carol Octavius, the adopted son and the successor to Julius Caesar, sent <coughs> out an order of taxation. The order stated that everyone had to return to the city of their birth to be registered to pay their taxes. Joseph and Mary, Mary according to the angel's instruction, and they were living in Nazareth. Joseph, being a descendant of David, is very also went to Bethlehem the city prophesied by Micah as the Savior's birth. Isaiah had prophesied almost 800 years earlier that a virgin would have a son whose name would be Emmanuel or Jesus. All Jews knew the scripture and the promise of the Messiah. God allowed a heavenly host of angels to shelter himself to a group of shepherds and proclaim the birth birth of the Christ child. They were told to go and find him. Of course they had to be directed by God to the exact place where the baby walked baby walked. According to the law of Moses and Leviticus, the male child was to be circumcised when he was eight days old. There were thirty three days of purification for the mother before she could enter into the sanctuary. Jesus was over a month old when he was brought to the temple to be presented to the Lord and offered the sacrifice of two doves and two pigs. On the on that day, Mary and Joseph brought Jesus to the temple. A man, <coughs> a man named Simeon was there. Verse 25 says the Holy Ghost was upon him. We can see in this lesson that the Holy Ghost not was upon certain people before the day of Pentecost. Simeon was a prophet. Had Simeon, who was a prophet, had been already. already.